What is up, YouTube? It is Baseball Geek 31, and welcome back to the long-awaited Mike Nickerack Road to the Show series here in MLB 15 The Show. It's been about a week since I got a video up of it, but we're going to start out with a prospect spotlight. And we welcome you back to today's minor league pregame show as we close in on Double A Eastern League Baseball with our Bowman Prospect Spotlight. Mike Nashik is highlighted here. And what a dominant performance he put together in his last start. He had opposing batters off balance throughout and racked up a boatload of strikeouts. Yeah, he just looked like he was really in control out there. And you know, sometimes you can tell a guy is going to dominate from the moment he sets foot on the rubber. They just exude confidence and their body language kind of says, you ain't touching me today. That's what I saw in him. I, and even though I was a hitter in my career, it was really fun to watch him make those other guys look silly. We'll see if he's still in top shape in this matchup here today. All right, lineups and first pitch are coming up next. Stay tuned for that right here on the show. So Mike Nickerack is ready for his third career double A start, and he will take on the Richmond Flying Squirrels, holding a two and ten record, which is awfully pathetic. He has the leadoff man two and one, and he's going to get him to pop up to the third baseman for the first out of the game. A great job of pitching there by Nickerack, as he gets the leadoff man to be retired on just four pitches. Second man he faces, he gets him to swing in a curveball down and in the dirt, and he'll throw on the first for the out, and there's two away. One and two to the three hitter, and he's going to hit a curveball on the ground to third. The throw on to the first baseman is in time, and he's got him for third out. A pop up here in the second to the first baseman, and he's going to make the catch. That'll retire him. A good job there. Two outs now in the bottom of the second. He gets another man to fly deep to center, but the center fielder will make the catch on the warning track to retire the side. And now Mike Nickerack will stand in for his first career major league at bat, even though it's not the major leagues. I just messed up there, but, you know, who cares? You see the pitch, and he's going to ground one through the hole, and they're going to call that an error, but he will reach base. So nonetheless, he gets his first double A plate appearance, and he gets on base for the first time. Yes, I know. I said Major League. You guys can all make fun of me in the comments. I don't care. Do whatever you want. But here's also something that was pretty funny. Nick Rack's on first. They go to pick him off, and he doesn't even move. He's out by a mile. But he's not paid to do that, he's paid to pitch. So he has a man 0-2, and he hits that one deep to right. The right field is going back on it, and he can't make the catch. It's going to be over his head and bounce up against the wall. And he's going to be in at third with a leadoff triple. And that's how the inning gets started for Nick Rack in the third. There's a flare hit to right. The right fielder coming on, and he can't make the catch. So twice in a row... Nickerack is going to let up a triple twice in a row to right field. And that's going to be an RBI triple for him. And it's one to nothing Richmond. Nickerack gets the next man to strike out swinging. A big strikeout there for Nickerack. He needs to get out of this inning. He has the next man two and two. He gets a fastball on the corner at 93. And he strikes him out. And there's two away. Oh, and two down to the next hitter. And he strikes him out with the curveball. Terrific job there. 0-2 now in the bottom of the fourth to the leadoff man, and he grounds it right back to Nick Rack. Look at those fielding skills. That athletic build that he has. A great job there by Nick Rack. A nice athletic play you can see right here as he basically is shooting a fadeaway as he was falling away from the throw. A nice play there. He has a man 0-2 after a man walked and stole second, and he strikes him out with the curve. To retire the side. On to the fifth. Leadoff man. One and he's out of one and two. And he strikes him out with a fastball. At 94. Great job there from Nickerack. 0 oh and 1 to the next hitter. It's two outs in the second. In the fifth, excuse me. And he'll hit one on the short. And they'll just barely get him. 
to retire the side. And now Nikarak will have another chance to hit here in the top of the sixth. He grounded out in the third. Well, they're going to call it a ground out. It's an error. He reached on the error. But this is his second double A at bat. This time, yes, I said double A. He picks the spot right. And he's going to hit it on the short. And he's going to be thrown out by a mile. So Nick Rock's going to ground out on one pitch. On to the bottom of the seventh. He has a man 0-2. And, and he's going to field it again and throw on the first. Nice play to field his position. That's how you practice your PFPs. One and one with two outs in the seventh. He's going to get his man to pop out to the catcher. And that will retire the side. And that would be the day for Mike Nickerack. But let's see if they could get him a win. And they could not. As Nickerack goes seven innings, gives up two hits, one earned run, nine strikeouts, and takes the hard luck loss. And here we are into the second game of this episode against the Harrisburg uh, Senators. And he's going to get the leadoff man to strike out swinging on the curveball. And they're going to show a replay of the grip and how it moves in show motion. I only show that because they put certain replays in there. I like to show them. Two outs here in the first. He gets a man to fly out to center to retire the side. We'll move on to the bottom of the second. Nickerak has him 1-0, uh, and, and he's going to pop up straight to the third baseman. He will make the catch, and that'll be out number one. One and two now with two outs in the bottom of the second, and he's going to tie him up and strike him out on a 94-mile-an-hour fastball. Runner on first, Nick Rack's going to be up to sacrifice, and he does a terrific job. A great bunt there, and he gets the runner over to second. And that's how they do. Let's see if they can get the runner across, though. But first, we'll take a look at the replay of the bunt. A great job bunting there by Nick Rack, the pitcher, who, as we all know in high school, is a very good hitter. And they did, in fact, get the run across, but he's going to give up a hit start off the top of the, the bottom of the third excuse me and um, with the runner on first he's going to strike the next man out with a 94 mile an hour fastball on the inside part of the plate the pitch is going to come up to bunt he bunts one and they're going to try to get the two and they're not going to get the two but they do get the force at second as Nick Rack was not quite there for, at first but they do get the force to spoil the sacrifice a great play there by the shortstop and he's going to get him a terrific play. I thought it was close. And that's going to be hit to third. And they're going to make the play. And that'll be, I believe, one out. Another grounder to short. They'll throw on to first. That'll retire the side in the fourth. Nick Rack up again in the top of the fifth. And he's going to hit one deep to left. And the left fielder makes a great play on it. And Nickerak really gave that ball a ride. But it's all for naught as he gets nothing out of it. Bottom of the fifth now, he strikes out the leadoff hitter with a 95 mile per hour fastball. We'll quickly take a look at the pitch sequence on show track. First pitch curve, second pitch curve, third pitch fastball right upstairs. And he gets him to strike out. 0-2 with two outs in the fifth. He throws a curveball, and he strikes him out. And that'll do it in the fifth. Bottom of the sixth now. He strikes out the leadoff hitter. Man, Nickerak's getting himself a lot of strikeouts. 1-2 and two now with one out. The pitch strikes him out. 94 miles an hour inside. Ties him up. 1-1 one one now. He's going to get the hitter to ground out to second baseman. A terrible throw by the second baseman, though, but he does make the first baseman scoops it. Another sacrifice chance for Nickerak, and he does it well again. So that's the second sacrifice in the game as they move the runner over to second. They do get the run across, so both times the sacrifice works. The leadoff hitter in the seventh is going to hit that one down the line, and that's going to be a base hit. And that's the first hit Nickerak's given up since the fourth, I believe. 0-2 oh, to the next man with one out. He gets a flare to short right, and he's going to fall. 
and there's two men on with only one out and here comes the skipper and that's going to be the end of the day for Mike Nickerack as he goes six and a third innings we'll see his stat line in a minute but he only he doesn't give up a run but he is responsible for the runners on second and first so let's take a look at the fast forward to see if they can hold it and they hold down the fort so he's not going to get the run charge the runs charged to him let's see what happens here as the senators are up now and still nothing across for them and whoa the the pinch hitter hits a home run and hopefully the rock cats can push another run across as insurance they do so it's three to one now and they push another two across it's five to one and that is not going to be the final score as another man hits a home run so it's five to two and that's going to end the game Nick Rack goes six and a third four hits no runs eight strikeouts and again zero walks so he does a great job gets his second double a win and your player of the game of course Strasburg's own Mike Nickerack goes six and a third, four hits, eight strikeouts, a terrific performance by a terrific pitcher who hopefully we'll get to see a lot of in the major leagues and the Rockies organization soon, that is in the game and in real life. Nickerack did a great job also at the plate, got two sacrifices, well, it does go 0 for 1, but in the last video, I put it in the comments for you to pick his new pitch. And here we go. And the winner, by default, because there was only a handful of comments, and it was unanimous for the slider. So the slider will be Mike Nickerack's newest pitch. And we're going to train it really quick. I don't know if I trained it in the video or not. I recorded this probably a week ago. But that's going to wrap up the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Drop me a like if you did. Subscribe to me if you are new. And stay tuned for more Mike Nickerack and Diamond Dynasty in all my series. And I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.